The United States has warned Serbia to pull back its forces after detecting what it calls an unprecedented military buildup along the Kosovo border. Serbia deployed the sophisticated tanks and artillery following one of the gravest escalations in years between ethnic Albanian and Serb communities in Kosovo. The U.S. warning comes at a time of rising tensions between Serbia and Kosovo that began after gunmen ambushed a police patrol in Kosovo one week ago. This video, released by the government in the capital Pristina, purports to show the attackers after they fled to a nearby monastery. One officer and three attackers were killed in the ensuing shootout. The gun battle took place in the Serb-majority region of northern Kosovo, which refuses to recognize the authority of the government in Pristina. Kosovo says it welcomes NATO's decision to bolster its troops in the volatile Balkan region. We need uh, NATO because the uh, border with Serbia is very long, and the uh, Serbian army has been recently strengthening its uh, capacities and they got a lot of military equipment from both Russian Federation and China. It is very important that our army gets stronger, that our police is very present in the north, but also we need joint patrols of police of Kosovo with NATO K-4 soldiers. Belgrade says it too would welcome more peacekeepers from NATO on the Kosovo force known as K-4. I had a long telephone conversation, not an easy one, with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken regarding the situation in Kosovo. There were a few things we agreed on and a few things we did not agree on. The things we agreed on is that the de-escalation is needed. We agreed that there is a significant need for a greater role for K-4. And Serbia wants that greater and more significant role for K-4 in Kosovo. Tensions with Kosovo's Serb minority in the north have been smoldering for months after Pristina installed ethnic Albanian mayors in four municipalities there following elections that Serbs boycotted. Kosovo, which has an ethnic Albanian majority, declared independence from Serbia 15 years ago. More than 100 countries recognize its sovereignty. Serbia is not among them. We can now speak to DW's Vyosa Cerchini, who joins us from Pristina. Vyosa, what has prompted the U.S. to call for de-escalation now? According to the U.S. government, there is a huge movement of the Serbian army towards uh, um, uh, the Kosovo border. And U.S. Uh, for, foreigner, uh, Foreign Minister Antony Blinken was so alarmed yesterday that he called the Serbian uh, President Aleksandar Vucic, but uh, Vucic denied that there is an extraordinary military movement. Uh, the White House uh, warned that Belgrade had deployed tanks and artillery near the border uh, after deadly clashes in northern Kosovo last week. Uh, Meanwhile, even NATO decided to reinforce its uh, peacekeeping forces in Kosovo by one British battalion. And uh, Kosovo's Prime Minister Kurti requested increased assistance uh, from the U.S. against Serbia's warfare plans. So uh, that means uh, that uh, the military is near the border and the situation is basically also being very dangerous. But just how much leverage does the United States or the international community more generally have on what is happening between Serbia and Kosovo? Uh, in plain language, uh, I would say that uh, the Western politics must change uh, their attitude towards Serbia. In the past, uh, they always uh, asked Kosovo to give in, never Serbia. And now it's time to put harsh sanctions against Serbia and ask them to investigate uh, against um, uh, Milan Radojic and uh, his terrorist gang. Even Radojic uh, confirmed through his lawyer uh, that he is in Serbia and would uh, answer uh, questions. However, Obviously, nobody's asking him questions. So um, basically, uh, Serbia is just continuing to gather military troops around Kosovo border and not 
not accepting the reality. And uh, for that reason, the situation is get, uh, getting really dangerous. And on Monday, there will be hopefully massive uh, diplomatic actions from all the Western countries uh, towards Serbia to calm down the situation and call back their military. They, are, they should take actions, not just uh, write something on Twitter. That was DW's Vyosa Cerchini. Vyosa, thank you so much for your reporting.